With fall sports drawing to a close, two Georgia college teams are preparing for winter. Both men and women's basketball players have been practicing since mid-October for an exciting season. I think you can expect for our guys to play hard, compete, and uh, share the ball, play together, uh, and play for each other. Uh, the men are coming into the season with a young team led by a handful of veterans. At the head of the pack is Kelvin Wamsey, who has played all three years of his time here at Georgia College. It's going to be different last year. It's going to be a little more slow paced, but it's going to be exciting still. You're going to see big things from our team. We're young, but you're going to see us grow as a team on the court, and you grow with this as you're watching. The Bobcat men have also brought in four transfers. Junior Desmond Mitchell of Flam is looking to bring plenty of experience to the team. I uh, bring experience, uh, probably a lot of leadership, and being vocal. Unlike the men, the women's team comes in with experience. Leading the Bobcat women are five seniors, including guard Larice Walker, who averaged just over 10 and a half points per game last season. Should be in, in a great season with the um, leadership that we have, the experience we have, you know, nobody's new to this, so should be a great year. Coach Maurice Smith is excited about what his players are bringing to the table. This is probably the most potential and talent that we've had in quite some time and you know we're excited to get to work and it's a work in progress just uh, you know we just got to take it one day at a time and just get better. Both Bobcat teams start regular season play this month. The men head over to the Peach Belt Conference Challenge November 11th and 12th and the women will participate in the Peach Belt Conference Carolina Conference crossover number 18th and 19th. You can find the men at home Tuesday November 15th at 7 30 p.m. But Bobcat fans will have to wait a little longer to catch the women in Milledgeville. Their first home game will be November 30th at 5.30 p.m. Reporting for GC360, I'm Jennifer Jacobs.